What's up everybody, me Tom Gamer here, bringing you another video, this time it's gonna be another blog for you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about anything, well, I'm gonna actually will be talking about something specific. I'm gonna be showing you guys my collector's edition I've collected over the years. I don't have a lot of them, I got about uh, four I can show you right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that today, so it's gonna be a vlog type, just showing stuff, talking about, about the stuff I got and all those things. So if you're ready, of course, let's jump right into it. Alright. So the first one I got is, this is the most recent one I got, is the Pit Boy Edition. So that's two years old, Fallout 4. So this one's pretty cool. Uh, one, one, one cool thing about this one is, uh, stupid phone, stupid phone. So what's cool about this collector's edition is uh, when I bought it, I was, uh, I was really quick to order it. Uh, I ordered it online because they weren't selling it at the store itself and the, the EB Games or GameStop you're in America or whatever so yeah I was the only one that was able to order them at my store well at online and got it at the store and when I got it the the, the manager there was actually jealous and what I did is I opened it for them to show them because they'd never seen it before so that was pretty cool uh, they got to see it as, at the same time I did so let's crack this bad boy open and we'll see what's inside without it dropping it like that was a joke that was a joke all right let's get right into it basically there's two latches on this i already made an unboxing video for this a while back when i got it but just show you guys real quick we got the first collector's edition two buttons here so it is pretty cool so it, this one comes with eh, comes with the steel case for fallout 4 which i should actually put the game in there uh, instruction manual all that jazz yeah the the steel case and the pip boy itself is the only thing that comes with it so, and the cool case, of course, the cool box that comes with it. All right, but yeah, we got this cool bad boy right here, which it's it pretty cool on itself. Did I have? Did I leave a phone in there? So it comes with the spacers. Unfortunately, my phone that I had, I had a Sony Ion when I got this uh, the collector's edition, and it didn't fit, so that was unfortunate. So I never used it actually. Well, I did try it on, of course. Uh, how do you open the other latch? Like. So yeah you open it up there's a cool metal latch that comes with it and then here you can open up where to put your phone I like the, oh oh i had my girlfriend's old old phone in there it had the old phone in there and you have all these spacers there to mask and all that stuff so i did use it but her phone was getting pretty slow so i never used it that often a little cool little thing here my bobber this everything spins and turns uh there's this light here i don't remember how to turn it on how do you turn it on? Oh, power. See the power button opens up this light here and here. Turn on and off. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me let me try this on here. Give me a second. All right. So that looks pretty cool, right? It's bulky as fuck, but it's cool. It fits with there's a there's a velcro strap inside. So because if not, it would just fucking fall out. Cause there is like a, a space I can put my finger in the back and forth there. But it fits pretty well. All the little knobs and gadget work. Pretty fucking cool, actually. So it was pretty fun when I bought it. It's it's rigid. I know. Also, if you, some of you guys are more bigger Fallout fans, you know that they they came out with an actual working one. Well, an actual working one. Uh, uh, one that actually has a, a computer with a screen inside of it, which was like 200, 300 bucks, and it, it actually worked like uh, sort of what your that the, the app did on your phone. Sorry, a lot of noise there. But yeah, it does. It did pretty much what the the, the phone app did, and it's pretty cool. It works pretty good. Oh, the little the little thing that came in it originally. But yeah, you could also like if your phone didn't fit, which mine didn't, you could just download the the app on your phone and make it work anyway. So that was pretty fun. So we'll move on to the next collector's edition. Let me dive back right in. Oh, I I, I forgot. It, it came with a nice little stand here. Nice big boy with a nice little stand in there. It says Pip Boy Model 3000 MK4, manufactured by Robco Industry for distribution by Vault Tech Corp. Not for civilian use, but it was put on civilians. Get that in your head. So the next level. Now I know, I know, I know you guys. You guys, you saw the box. You're like, oh my god, you got this fucking game. This stupid fucking overexpensive game that lasts five hours. Yes, it lasts five, six. I would say more seven or eight hours. That, that's what it took me because I platinum the order 1886 <coughs> It's okay. I'm not dying yet uh, The game the game at the price it is now. It's definitely worth trying out like doesn't matter if it's $20. That's definitely a good price 
what I explained uh, way back when, when I started my uh, my website there, I reviewed the game and I gave it an 8 out of 10, which I think it's a fair and I still believe that's an 8 out of 10. And I probably would like to, I still have, if you go back in the, uh, we, I have a video of the unboxing of this. And I also have a, the video of one of the first, the one of the first and only Twitch stream I uploaded to my YouTube channel, full length two hour video. <laughs> Which uh, I think nobody watched, or one person watched. Uh, pretty sure they watched the intro. It's like, fuck this, this is too long. So, this is another collector's edition. Uh, like I said, when I bought this collector's edition, it come, this collector's edition comes with the game, the uh, statuette, what we'll see in a couple of seconds. And it comes with the soundtrack that goes with the collector's edition, uh, but a digital version of it. And it came with, with, came with stickers, I think, and a DLC. Uh, not DLC, well, no, it didn't come with DLC. There was never was a DLC for this game. So, yeah. Uh, and the way the way I justified buying it, the game itself, I wouldn't say necessarily that it was worth sixty dollars on its own, because for five hours we'd know anything else in the game itself, except like a bit of replayability. Altogether, to get all the trophy took me maybe nine or ten hours. So that that's with fun going back, doing all the chapters to get all the the missing stuff to do the trophies and stuff. So yeah, so. So yeah, the way I, I explained it in my review back then, and I said the game itself, I would say comfortably at forty dollars was worth it. Then if you add let's say uh, fifteen dollars, I remember fifteen dollars for the soundtrack, then the statuette easily, easily another thirty forty dollars for the statuette, or let's say twenty or thirty, came over a hundred dollars, and I paid seventy dollars for this when it came out. I think it was or eighty dollars. So the game was seventy in Canada, of course, Canadian price. Game was 70, this was 80 or 90, so 20 bucks more. And it was definitely worth it for everything you got in it. I, I, that's the way I saw it. Uh, like I said, the game on its own wasn't probably worth it on its own. So let's stop chatting and just fucking open this box now. And once again, the ever so famous steel box. But the collector's edition itself, it's uh, pretty straightforward. There's nothing too complex. Like this is what it is with the with the plastic thing here, how the fuck does it go back there? Because the plastic fits weird inside each other. So that's what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. The detail on it is fantastic. When I looked at when first time I remember like just looking at the dragon here. Like the detail is so fine and nice on it. You wouldn't imagine the bullet. The bullets on the ground there. It looks super cool up close. It's rigid, it's it's a nice that's what sucks is this game came out with the full intention of being an awesome game like the detail paint job here on the cement wall the brick brick texture is nice the plastic doesn't feel cheap even the character like the gun the, the gun doesn't even flex or anything so it's a good quality plastic and if before you say oh no it's fucking cheap it's disgusting i work in manufacturing so i know when i, I worked in molding before molding plastics like these and these i can tell you it's a very good quality this is actually a full piece of plastic it has a base under, like the this base piece connects into this piece here, and this is a full piece. It's not just a, sh a hollow, hollow piece of plastic. So it's rigid. It's nice. The model is fully detailed. I don't know if these were hand painted. They look hand painted, but it's super cool. And I have to say, if you can get the order, try, definitely try it out. Unfortunately, I don't remember his fucking name. I'm, I've been trying for the last two minutes to remember his name. Even the cape, like. The folds in the cape are pretty cool. A bit too high, a bit to the left. Uh, yeah, look at the cape detail on this. Like, it's pretty fucking cool. Even the back detail, like something you wouldn't even imagine. The red, the red in the back there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll move on to the next collectible. Let me dive back right in. All right, the Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, another Fallout. And so this is another one I wanted to get the collector's edition way back when it came out. Fallout New Vegas collector's edition, and it's. Pretty cool. So there's a little sleeve here. You see, it got a lot banged up there from being stored. It was $85 when I got it. Which is pretty good. So this little collector's edition comes in a nice little textured box uh, to make it look like post-apocalyptic. So this is a New Vegas team collector's edition. That's one of the reasons why I bought it because it looked pretty cool. All right. So the first thing that comes with it is an unmarked book. Well, uh, marked. It's actually marked, but like it's there's nothing written on it. And it's it's the Fallout New Vegas All Roads. If you guys, if you guys want me to read it at some point, just tell me. I will, uh, I will read it for you guys in another edition of whatever we want to call this. But basically, this is the introduction to Fallout New Vegas. Your character, if I remember, or in a, 
the pre the pre um so basically this is what led up to you being killed in the mojave sorry spoiler alert uh, about the first five minutes of the game so yeah that that's what it is right here so if, if you guys want me to read this is a comic book uh, did i show you the thing so it looks something like this it features Benny's and the guys from the the cons or whatever you call them again here is the cd of here the cool little case this is the making of fallout new vegas so the guys at obsidian when they made it is uh they they basically they they actually really like they released uh the beginning of these videos on youtube when the game came out but this is like full versions of those if i remember correctly i haven't watched in years and then the cool part of this collector's edition first you get a silver chip it's not real silver but of this cool little lucky 38 with a two value of 200 in the mojave it's pretty cool it's real it's made out of steel it's really cool cool looking and then the cool little part with that is every casino gets their own chips after that so you have the ultra lux at a value of 100 this is the gomora if i remember the gomora at a value of 50 then you had the uh, then you have bison steve a value of 25 in the back then you had the silver rush at a value of 20 in the back two more guys uh, so three more then the atomic wrangler at a value of 10 and then you had tops casino at a value of five tops value of five and the last one is oh just the oh vault 21 uh, vault 21 yeah vault 21 poker chip value at one dollar so that's pretty cool seven poker chips for all the casinos in the game last cool little thing of course staying in the in the casino theme is the deck of cards with all the characters so they're pretty cool i'll show you a couple the joker card is the courier and it says enjoy your stay mr house I'll go i'll just skip a couple here try to find a good one for you mr new vegas by uh who was that again sorry that 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 singer is a bit older generation for me so it says in the card uh the woman of new vegas asked me a lot of a lot if there's a miss mrs new vegas of course there is you're her and you're still as perfect as the day we met that's actually something he says on his radio show radio new uh, radio new vegas i don't remember and then you have president kimball caesar or kaiser so it says we are we are the throat of the great bear victory is at our hand is at hand victory is at hand oh yeah they have ba different backings too that's pretty cool we have the gamora cards you have the bison steve comic wrangler uh, lucky 38 you're cool because they're all like they all have like stains on like old markings on it and stuff pretty cool all right so that that's it for the fall of the fallout new vegas collector's edition so let's jump right into the next one let's go. all right i found this one in the back there somewhere grand theft auto 5 collector's edition so this this is probably one of my favorite besides the, the fallout ones well all four of them are pretty cool but this is one of my favorite ones for the box because it's a box in a box what's in the box box in another box so it comes with another collector's edition pretty cool it has all three protagonists and them ready for a heist in the back that's pretty cool the other cool thing in here is the blueprint i'll try i'll try to show you guys it looks like a blueprint basically so basically the, the important parts the red stuff here the the, the triangle the red triangles are safe houses the circles are fast cash and custom rides what's cool too is uh I should have should have grabbed it there, but I also have uh, this that that one's for the PS3. But I also got the PS4 edition when it came out. But I was lucky enough to get the the review. The guys at Rockstar Games actually gave me the review copy, and they sent me actually a T-shirt which was actually too small, so I never wore it. But yeah, it looked pretty cool, and I still have it hidden. I just at some point when I'm able to do a uh, when I'm able to do a, a frame, I'll frame the shirt with the the, the paperwork they they came out. It's kind of cheesy i know but it's the first review i ever had it was cool getting it from rockstar games so i yeah i'm probably going to do that uh, it's upstairs i don't i don't i don't remember where it is so i'll find it another day probably show you guys another day the next cool thing that comes with this collector's edition is this key here which says grand theft auto 5 on it and we will see what it opens in the, the continuation of the box so let me go check that for you guys all right so the rest of the box is pretty much this 
though it comes with a cool snapback hat with Rockstar logo and Los Santos. Now, I'm not gonna wear this hat because it's too cool to be worn. I've seen some people walking around with this. It's not a, um, uh, I guess you would call these flex backs. These are, sna this is a sna snapback. Yeah. I guess you would call these a snapback. Yeah, it's not the full back. And the key opens up the bottom part. So if I, I'm gonna try to remember how to open this without strapping the entire box here. Yeah, and don't worry guys, the cap still has the sticker on it. I didn't take it out, don't worry. So this is pretty cool. This is a little, the key goes with this. Oh, sorry, it goes with this. Basically a money bag. So basically to, to transport valuables. Let me take it out so I can show you guys. So the bag, the bag is resealable, don't worry. Now the bag is pretty fucking top heavy because of the whole lock mechanism. It's pretty fucking sturdy, I would have to say. So basically you got the key, it says Grand Theft Auto on it. I don't remember if I tried it when I got it. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. And we can unzip it. And yeah. I don't even remember if I opened it really. But it's pretty cool. You can put a tag on here on the other side of the wall. But yeah, the bag like this is fucking heavy. This mechanism right here. Yeah, so you can zip it back in there. Yeah, now it's locked in there. I have to say it's pretty sturdy. Never used it. It's collector's edition. Alright guys, though, well, that's it for all the collector's edition I got so far. I received some little knickknack. Wait, I think I got it. Well, this is not a collector's edition, but I received when I bought Mafia. I got this cool poster from EB Games. I got a couple posters. I might make another videos for posters and stuff. Uh, I got a lot of multiples, so I might do some giveaways on that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this cool video. Of course, leave like the video, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below of the cool uh, collectibles you got uh, back in the day or now or whatever. I've seen some cool ones. My brother has a lot of cool ones because he has actually room and shelf and no kids so that he can actually put them somewhere. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Of course, leave a comment. Like I just said, collector's edition you've got, or um, show, send a picture if you can, or Imgur or whatever, uh, or whatever. No dick pics, of course. Well, I, I don't know why I just said that, because now some, maybe some of you guys will do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, like, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, youtube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much guys for watching this vlog about my collector's edition. Oh, and I will see you next time in the next video. Keep on keeping on.